we got us a PU tier. Thank you, Smogun, for finally getting your act together and splitting up NU. That tier was huge, man. So basically, PU eliminates all the threats, like, you know, the big overused stuff of NU, like Vileplume, I think, for Alligator, Spiritum, which is actually RU now, I think, Slurpuff, like, all the stuff you see a lot in NU. So basically, it's, I think it's drawn a line somewhere down the middle, but essentially you're left with, well, you can probably see from the screen the sort of caliber of Pokemon we're dealing with here. Here's Kenny, which is actually even worse this gen because of knockoff spam. <laughs> Although it gets its own knockoff boost, so I guess that's something. This thing, Assault Vest, Dust Noir, you could probably run the same set on Kecleon and do a little bit better as like a Life Orb Kecleon, but nah, I wanted to try this. I quite like Dust Noir. This thing, Mickey, is going to be a Scarfer. By the way, Raichu and Pikachu can now run Surf, which for some reason was disallowed before. I think it was a programming error on Showdown's part, but now you can run Surf, which I've run over Grass Knot because Seismitoad is up in NU, and you can't run Lightning Rod, so, you know, go static, whatever. This thing is hopefully going to be the main star, though you can probably tell from the thumbnail whether it is or not. I don't know. Choice Specs Vanillax with weak armor. I like the idea of it. It's really powerful, you know, just like Aurorus in the last session. It can do a lot of damage. And it has amazing base stats, like the base stat total... I don't remember what it is off by heart, but... It's actually really high. It just does like a weird distribution. Like 85 defense. 95 special defense is pretty good and if you can take like I don't know a sucker punch or a fake out You'll get plus one speed. So that's basically a choice specs and a choice scarf in one go It doesn't have much in the way of coverage, but I've gone with ice beam freeze dry Someone asked why I run two ice moves on Aurorus in the last session and Basically ice beam is gonna be what you want to go for most of the time or nature power in Aurorus's case and then freeze dry just because it hits water types, you know, especially stuff that's quad weak to it, like Pelipper, Mantine, Ludicolo, that kind of thing. And it's better than, like, Aurorus gets T-Bolt, which you could run, but there's really no point if you have freeze dry, because freeze dry obviously you get stab as well, so. Flash Cannon, it hits steel types and other ice types, rock types as well, I guess. Not great, but it's something. I didn't want to run water pulse because I didn't see the point. And HP Ground just to, you know, round off the coverage there. Ice and Ground is really good coverage together. That's why Pilus Wine is such a big threat. And this will hopefully help Kenny from not dying a lot of the time. It's just a defensive Meganium. Counter, Aromatherapy, Gig Drain, and Leech Seed. You could swap out Leech Seed for EQ if you want, which is maybe a better idea. So you're not walled by Grass types. Well, not grass types. So you have something for fire types, basically, is what I'm thinking. But Leech Seed I like, just because it gives you a bit more recovery option. And finally, this thing, the Wall Breaker Rapidash. I've tried it a few times, like normally I'll run Expert Belt on Rapidash, with just four attacks. Or, sorry, three attacks and then Morning Sun. But I figure Flame Plate is quite a good item, just because Flare Blitz will be what you click most of the time. And then Will-O-Wisp is great just for burning any kind of defensive wall that really relies on physical attacks to actually hit offensive Pokemon. Like Dust Noir is a good example. They normally have EQ, which would do a lot to Rapidash. But if you burn it, it can't do anything. You can just Morning Sun all you like, and then just keep smacking it with Flare Blitz. So I like the set. And to be honest, like I barely use the other coverage moves when I do use Rapidash with three moves. Normally it's just Flare Blitz, or Wild Charge, or Switch, basically. So, oh, one last thing. I'm going to promote my team builder a bit here. If you go to Import Export on your teams, Control A, Control C, and go to Pyrotoz.com. Import from Showdown. Paste it in there. Boom. That's my team. And you can, you know, at a glance see what you're strong against. I have nothing for fighting types, apparently, but that's fine, I can deal with that. And I'm triple weak to ground, which, yeah, is something to bear in mind, but again, I'm not too worried about it. It's a decent team. So, 
let's get on with the show. Okay, here's the first game. I had to actually take off, I think it was Frisk on Dust Noir and change it for pressure, because I got Sucker Punch and apparently that's an illegal combination. So, Frisk is out of the question. Not a big deal. I can deal with that. I think, looking at his team, he may suspect Kenny is a lead. Although something tells me that Matang would be a good lead for him. Hmm. Let me try Rapidash in case he goes with Matang. No, okay. I kind of feel like burning this thing, because it's not Guts. Okay, it is a special set. It can do both, really, so hard to tell. Obviously, he has a heal Bella, but he's not going to risk going into it. Let me see. I could just go to Kenny and probably take a knockoff. Low! Fuck you, Wartortle. Yeah, knockoff's looking like a good play. Good. And now I can go for T-Spikes. Because he has to go back to Wartortle at some point. Yes, Meganium. Let's heal off that burn. Oh, I have a ghost type. Haha! <laughs> I don't normally bring spin blockers. Ha 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 ha! Alright, good. So obviously, I don't want to get burnt. Could go to Raichu. Yeah, I mean, that's a reasonable play. And Volt Switch. It doesn't matter if it doesn't kill, because I can go back to Dust Noir. Yeah, boy. Now would be a good opportunity to Morning Sun. If he stays in, he's a brave, brave man. Well, it turns out he is indeed a brave, brave man. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and Volt Switch out into something or other. Vanillux, in case he has EQ. Okay, that's fine. His best switch might be the Reg Ice, now that I think about it. Let me try going for a Flash Cannon. Oh, god damn it. I doubt it'll go for rapid spin. Yeah, yawn, whatever. Let's go to your boy. Nope. Denied. And go for a nice little power up punch. Yeah, boy. That's good. We're in a good position. I get walled by Murkrow, but. That's fine. You'll probably want to go to Luxray anyway. Ah, Matang. Learn Matang. Knock off. No, good.
I guess I'll EQ. Yeah, poison, whatever. I can heal that off. He could actually go to Murkrow, which would be able to wall me pretty well, so... I think I'll go to Meganium and then Aromatherapy now. Because I need this thing healthy, and I want Kenny healthy. heal up. Don't go for toxic. Good. <laughs> and I think protect toxic rocks. If his last move is EQ, I'm gonna cry. Good. Oh, by the way, the website, piratoz.com, it'll now give you viable movesets when you, well, you can choose between viable movesets and random movesets. So you can actually make a complete team just by clicking the button, if you like. Which I might try and do for a PU session after this one. Well, basically I just... Like, because you can randomise and then export to showdown. Like, instantly, so I might do that as a whole session. Changing teams each time, you know? Do I need Kenny? Nope. I would have thought Kenny would take that. Maybe if he wasn't Life Orb. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the really... The only threat on his team, ironically, is Murkrow, because that can't be poisoned, obviously, by T-Spikes. And I think Matang would die to two Ice Beams from there, so that's fine. Don't go to Reg Ice now. Matang! That's fine. Dead. <laughs> Beast. Alright, Reg Ice is going to take fuck all from even Flash Cannon, so... Might be best going to ride you, because it's less useful than Dust Noir. Oh, shit. He might be weakness policy. But this will bring it down low enough anyway. You stupid mouse! Life Orb. Well, at least he's worn down pretty quick. Let me see. Yeah, that works. I can do this. Curious to see how much you'll do. Yeah, that's nothing, mate. Nothing. I'm just gonna kill it now. Save myself taking the damage. Beast! Okay. Don't know if it can do a whole lot to me, really. Thunderbolt? Whatever. And that's going to put it in range of ye old Shadow Sneak. Yeah, I like this set. There's no point in trying to go for Shadow Sneaks, may as well power up punch. 
What kind of set are you? Hmm. It's gonna be like, what, Dark Pulse? Yeah. Dark Pulse Heat Wave or something like that. Murkrow's quicker than Vanillux, so gotta go to this thing. No! This one's gotta be properly defensive. God damn it. Well, I guess I'll burn it. It'll come in handy. And then wild charge. <laughs> How do I beat this? Morning sun. Yeah, so I don't think he's special attack invested, so he's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. What? Oh, that does nothing! Jesus! I thought Mocha had like the worst defense in the world. <laughs> okay. How about this? We keep clicking Ice Beam until we get a crit. It's a good set, what can I say? BT Murkrow. I don't know what defense stat that would hit with max defense and EV light. Gotta be less than 300 still, but... I guess you got pranks to Ruse, so it's not a big deal. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, man. That is good damage. Good, good damage. And I'm quicker because he's not speed invested. Yeah, okay. GG, friend.